Hi, I'm Travis Peterson, Senior Scientist with Broadband and Associates. One of the most interesting things I've been able to help clients with over the last couple of years is California's General Industrial Stormwater Permit. California's General Industrial Stormwater Permit was rewritten back in 2014, went into effect in 2015. The rewrite of the permit took away a light industry exemption that for about 20 years kept a lot of businesses uh, from needing to be covered by this permit and needing to file. Wineries, breweries, uh, small manufacturing shops, uh, textile uh, locations, all kinds of new and smaller businesses that didn't typically have to uh, comply with this permit. Well, now they do. And so uh, just determining what steps to take with a permit that's you know, two inches thick uh, worth of legal verbiage uh, sometimes pretty daunting for business owners. Um, that's where we can help. We, we understand the three main ways to comply with this permit. So the first compliance option for the industrial general permit is called notice of non-applicability. It's uh, one of the most costly options but it can get you out of the permit for the duration. And it requires a larger engineering report and a larger effort up front to show that any of the stormwater or precipitation that comes onto your site doesn't leave your site, doesn't get to waters of the U.S. Uh, second most common way is called no exposure certification. No exposure allows your business to show that all of the business activities and all the industrial activities that you're, that you're doing on your site has no exposure to stormwater or precipitation or stormwater that enters the site potentially comes in contact with some of your process and, and then leaves the site it's an initially easier and cheaper way to comply with the permit and through a checklist of 11 items some basic stormwater best management practices can be put into place at pretty much any site that will allow you to become to, to stay in compliance with this permit. Um, it does require annual maintenance and annual inspections uh, but, it's, but it is one of the easiest ways to stay in compliance with that. The biggest risk there is not filing. Um, Businesses that, that ignore it and don't, don't do the initial filing um, are at risk for non-compliance problems with the state board and costly fines and fees. The third option is a little more involved and, and, and may be necessary for, for a lot of businesses that do have operations that are exposed to the weather. It's called a, a notice of intent is the filing that must be done for this. It's really more of a full coverage option all of those require a uh, full stormwater pollution prevention plan to be filed with the state, site maps, uh, initial sampling and monitoring requirements, and annual reporting. So unfortunately in California, with hundreds of thousands of more businesses now being uh, subject to this permit, one of the biggest risks that businesses face is simply not knowing about it. Contact Broadband today to see if this permit applies to your business. Give us a call, drop us an email, we'll be happy to help you out.